hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video you guys like i just want to show you guys what my morning routine has always been like with my newborn baby obina so i usually wake up at 5 30 in the morning as soon as my husband leaves for work and the first thing i do is just to get him out of his crib and then give him plenty of kisses to make him awake and then i'm go just going to go ahead and breastfeed him make him to bob and then change his diaper and take him back into his crib to sleep so before i go to bed what i usually do is to just bring his changing mat with the breastfeeding pillow close to me and then i'll now get his diaper and his wipes close to me also i'll just keep it on the cupboard and then my bottle water like i love to drink water all through the night to the next morning because i know i have a lot of breastfeeding to do so i love to keep all those things very close to the bed just to make sure that i don't wake up and start moving around so as soon as I put him back into his crib, I'll just go back to bed because it's still too early for me to, you know, wake up and start my day. So it's about 7.30 now. 7.30 is usually the time I wake up to start my day. So when I wake up, like, I love to take lots of water because uh, water helps me a lot in, you know, having enough breast milk. So I'll take lots of water and then I'm going to read my Bible. I have this daily manual that, you know, gives me a verse or two to read every day of the year. So I'll just read my Bible, say my prayers, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up, pick up my baby Obina from his crib. Once I get him out of his crib, I'm just going to give him like lots and lots and lots of kisses just to make him awake because i like him being awake because i feel like each time he's away he's he tends to kind of breastfeed more than when he's not awake because when he's not awake sometimes and he's breastfeeding he might just forget his breastfeeding and then sleep off so i try to make him so much awake so that he can breastfeed more and then obina is that kind of baby that spends a lot of time on feeding like sometimes he could breastfeed for 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes you know He's, he loves to, to really really like spend lots of time breastfeeding and that makes him to have lots of wet diapers so i make sure that i change his diaper so yesterday night was a bit cold so i had to put him in his sleeping bag but this morning i noticed that the room temperature is a bit okay so i removed him from it and then put him back to sleep like kaima has been here she sleeps with us in our room like it's been difficult for us to really get her to sleep in her room maybe because she was our only child so we really wanted her to, to be with us but uh, even before obi was born we've been trying to see how we can get her to sleep on her bed in her room but honestly like it's been really hard because she keeps crying that she wants to really be with us and then today is one of those days that she woke up very early usually she'll wake up at 8 30 but today is just one of those days and she's been bonding with her baby brother like she loves him a lot she plays with him and she's been helping mommy so today is one of those days that I got a little help from Kaima. At this point, Obi is so comfortable, like he's enjoying his sleep. And I just can't get over his cuteness. Like sometimes I'll just be watching him, watch the way he sleeps. Like he's just so cute. And then the reason why I like putting on his hand gloves is because he scratches himself a lot and he'll just be crying. And then big sister is uh, watching her cartoon, but I'm going to go downstairs and get her something to drink. Like she loves milk and Milo. Mm -hmm. 
as I was about going downstairs to get some chocolate for Kaima, I noticed that baby Obi started crying and I had to pick him up. So I felt like he was not warm enough. So I had to swaddle him in a blanket to keep him warm. And then I had to just, you know, sing for him and try to make him to go back to sleep. And he now went back to sleep. I put him back in his crib. After I had given Kaima her drink, I just, you know, washed some of my dirty plates, cleaned up the kitchen, and I don't want to bore you guys with the clips. And I now feel like it is time to beat Obina. So I came up to Kaima's room. Obi is still sharing uh, Kaima's wardrobe. So I came up to pick his clothes and get him ready for a bath. Obi loves taking a shower. He loves water like each time I pour water on his head, he will be so relaxed. So he enjoys it whenever he's having a shower. And those are one of the times that you really get to see the kind of baby he is. He will be so calm even when he has a reason to cry. He won't just cry because like he loves water. So I'll just go ahead after beating him. I'll just go ahead and clean him up and then use zero dim on him like i got this from uh, his doctor because he has a lot of dry skin like he had serious dry skin so i'll just go ahead and use zero dim on him and then dress him up for the day After dressing him up, like I know Obi is definitely ready for another feed. So I'll just go ahead and feed him. Then while I'm feeding him, I take this time to bond with him. Like I can't get over his cuteness. This boy is so cute. I admire him a lot. I'll just bond with him and also bond with the big sister. So this is the time that we also get to, the big sister also gets to spend time with her baby brother. So while um with them i could just go ahead and you know go through my phone check one or two things out on my social media and then i'll go ahead and just take them into the living room like in the living room obi loves his rocker he's so comfortable in the living room whenever I, he's so comfortable whenever i take him into the living room because of that rocker so i'll just go ahead and put him there while his big sister watches over him i know that i can't trust her like five percent but i know she can definitely tell me when he's crying so i'll leave them here while the big sister is watching her cartoon i'll leave them here and go ahead to finish my house shot So Obi fell asleep on his rocker and I picked him up and took him into his crib. So at this point, like he's comfortably asleep and uh, Big Sister is having her breakfast. So I'll just go ahead and remove the rollers from my hair and then take a shower. Like I had these rollers because I wanted some curls on my hair. 
So I'll just go ahead and remove it and take my shower and get myself ready for the day. almost past 11 now and I'm just going to go ahead after having a shower to the kitchen to find something to eat and uh, one of my favorite meals is mixed food meal like I love mixed food meal I use it as breakfast a lot but I think I'm going to call this my breakfast slash lunch even though I'm going to eat lunch much later in the day so I'll just go ahead and get my mixed food meal. The major and reason why I love this mixed food meal is because it increases my breast milk. It's not a meal, but I'm the one that calls it a meal. It increases my breast milk and I love it so much. So I do this like every other day. I don't miss it in a week. I don't miss it like four or five times in a week. I take it a lot. Even in the evenings, I take, I take it. I'm going to post a video on how I make this uh, fruit meal later on. So you can check out my channel to know how I make this mixed, mixed fruit meal. Mixed fruit meal. Yeah, mixed fruit meal. So while I'm eating, like I love to check my phone, check uh, what is going on on social media, watch some YouTube videos. But halfway, like Obi woke up, so I had to carry him. Some days are like that. Some days I have to carry him, uh, even while I am eating. So after eating, I just know that he needed his own feed. I fed him, and then the the, the weather is already like getting warm. So I decided to change him because I don't want him to keep wearing his sleeping suit. So I changed him into something, you know, um, easier. So at this point it's almost 12 o'clock and what I usually do at this time is just to try and put him to bed to sleep again. So I decided to wrap him up and sing, dance for him and see if he can sleep. And he kind of fell asleep. So when I thought he had slept, I took him to the room to lay him down only for him to wake up and he was just ready to play. He wasn't just ready to sleep. So I had to start playing with him and bonding with him.
so like at this time we're just having mommy and son's time like we're just playing and you know happy together and i also use this time to show him images in black and white and colors like he can see bright colors and uh, images in black and white so i use this time to you know show him his color book because it helps his memory meanwhile big sister is still in the living room watching her cartoon so after playing for a while like obi will eventually fall asleep and then i try to also sleep when he's sleeping so this is how my morning goes like almost every day thank you so much guys for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel share comment and please let me know what your morning routine is like if there's anything i need to change or if it's a bit similar let me know as a new mom thank you so much guys and bye